Without Christ, there is no hope. Charles Spurgeon. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Amy Peterson. Reginald Fessenden had been working for years to achieve wireless radio communication. Other scientists found his ideas radical and unorthodox and doubted he would succeed. But he claims that on December 24, 1906, he became the first person to ever play music over the radio. Fessenden held a contract with a fruit company, which had installed wireless systems on roughly a dozen boats, to communicate about the harvesting and marketing of bananas. That Christmas Eve, Fessenden said that he told the wireless operators on board all ships to pay attention. At nine o'clock, they heard his voice. He reportedly played a record of an operatic aria, and then he pulled out his violin, playing O Holy Night and singing the words to the last verses he played. Finally, he offered Christmas greetings and read from Luke 2 the story of angels announcing the birth of a Savior to shepherds in Bethlehem. You know, both the shepherds in Bethlehem over 2,000 years ago and the sailors on board the United Fruit Company ships in 1906 heard an unexpected, surprising message of hope on a dark night. And God still speaks the same message of hope for us today. A Savior has been born for us, Christ the Lord. We can join the choir of angels and believers through the ages who respond with glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Luke chapter 2, verses 11 through 20. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. That's today's scripture reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 11 through 20. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to glorify you today, Lord, by thanking you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, as our Savior. Thank you for that immeasurable gift. In his name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.